in this problem we have to find a force in the three members that is ef cf and bc and we have to state if the members are in tension or compression and you see we have also a reaction forces at point a and b but in this problem we can basically ignore them and you see we are using method of sections as we have to find limited forces in these truss. So first of all, we have to draw a section line that splits the truss into two equal parts or maybe not. So you see, we are using the upper part of the truss and these are the forces that we have to find. And now we are going to draw its free body diagram. So you see, we have to use equilibrium conditions to find these three forces. So first of all, if we apply the submission of movement at point F, so it means that the movement arm lies on the member AF and CF. So the remaining forces are four kilonewton and the force in member BC. And you see that the four kilo return force has a perpendicular distance of two meters from point F and this force rotates the truss in the clockwise direction, so it is negative. And in case of the force in member BC, uh, we have a perpendicular distance of 1.5 meters and it rotates it in the anti-clockwise direction, so it is positive. Uh, so through this we get force in member BC that is 5.33 kilonewtons. And basically this force produces compression and you can also change uh, the direction of force that is acting in this member. So again if we apply the submission of movements at point C, so it means our movement arm lies at the member CF um ec and cd so the remaining forces are again four kilonewton that has a perpendicular distance of two meters and again it is negative and we have force in member ef and it is acting in the anti-clockwise direction and it has a perpendicular distance of 1.5 meters from point c so we get the force in member EF that is 5.33 kilonewton and this force produces tension. And lastly, we can apply the submission of forces in the horizontal direction. So we have the four kilonewton force and the force in member CF. And this is negative because it is acting in a negative X direction while four kilonewton force is positive because it is acting towards the positive x direction so we get the force in member cf that is four kilonewton and this force also produces tension in the member